Can we help you? Yes. So it's a lot of corkscrews. Do you collect corkscrews? Uh, that I do. Well, I have uh, 2,300 corkscrews. A little screwy if you ask me. <laughs> Where would you keep 2,300 corkscrews? I have a house full of corkscrews. So your wife wants you to get rid of some? Yes, she's had enough of my collection. <laughs> I recently opened up a bar next door, and I can always use corkscrews over there. Okay. So how much would you want for these three right there? It would be about $950. Okay. I'll give you 600 bucks. Ah. Uh, nah, no, we got to be looking at 750-ish. The only reason I'm going this high is because I really want to like display these in my bar. So this is a business transaction where I'm not really making business. I'm decorating. So um, you have to cut me a little slack here. OK. We could be looking at 675. 650. We got 650. All right. You want to go write them up? Yeah, come on. Let's go write up some paperwork and get you paid. OK. Maybe I can come check out this collection you're talking about. Ah, uh, it would be worth your while. If the guys like these, they're gonna love my entire collection. It goes back four centuries. A little while ago, we had a customer come into the shop with a collection of corkscrews that Rick really, really, really liked. Rick mentioned that he would like to display some of these in his bar, and this guy has thousands of corkscrews. So I'm bringing Corey down to his house to take a look at some of them, and maybe we can find a few more for Rick. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing wonderful, Chumley. Good, Good seeing you again. Yeah, my pleasure. Here's my uh, associate, Big Hoss. Pleasure meeting you. So my dad was really into this or something? You know your dad. He likes weird things. I mean, look at this one here. Like, this is a duck. Maybe. It's a rabbit. All right. No, it's a duck. <laughs> That's about right. It's a ducking rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to make a deal? I could be talked into it. Can we break a few out, maybe, and just buy a few of them? That's fine. We got the big uh, mistake eraser. I'd say about uh, 15 bucks. OK. We got this cork. I'd say another 20 bucks. OK. Bear jaw. Bear jaw, uh, 45 bucks. And this. And uh, 85 bucks. I like this. What's up with that one right there? Oh, man, that's a that's $135 piece, easy. 200 bucks flat. Two and a quarter. 200 and we got a deal. Um, all right, old buddy, old pal. I appreciate it. So with you and my dad always buying each other gifts. Put a cork in it. You said something about wanting to do something for Rick. What do you want to do? You know me, the generous guy I am. Yeah, you are. Rick liked the corkscrews, and he kept talking about his bar the whole time. My bar this, my bar that. And there's nothing Rick loves more than talking, so <laughs> I figure this will give him plenty more stuff to talk about if he has this hanging up on the wall somewhere. So when you were telling me about the corkscrew thing, it's sort of funny, because when you're in a bar, you don't want to know what time it is, right? No. But I was thinking about maybe a clock. I mean, the cooler the better, Rick. I, I trust your judgment. The clock, it does sound pretty cool to me. And everybody's going to ask about it, right? Yeah. Well, then he can talk about his different corkscrews that he's got. Yeah, know? I think that'll be good. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take him home, and I'll get it uh, you know, set up. I'll figure something out, and I'll, and I'll let you know. All right, sounds good. You got my number. And yeah. please, don't call Rick, because right. this is a surprise. OK. And don't call Corey, either, because no one blows a surprise faster than him. He can't keep his mouth shut. All right, bro. Cool. All right, awesome. thank you. Awesome, awesome, All awesome. Right. Well, I'm really excited to show it to him. I mean, you're going to love it. It looks awesome. I'm back. Hey, what's up, old timer? Pops, oh. Chum got you a present. Oh, you did? Yep. So? Well, you bought a couple corkscrews, and then Corey and I went to that guy's house, and he had, like, a million corkscrews. We picked out a few more, and I wanted to make you something special for the bar. And, well, I mean, I'll let Rick Dell tell you the rest. Yeah, so what he did is he showed me these corkscrews, and we want to display them for you. It'd be sort of a conversation piece. All right, well, let's take a look at it. One, two, three. Ta-da! Wine o'clock. We're at wine o'clock, <laughs> right? <laughs> that is really, really cool. This is an old 40s clock off of, uh, you know, one of the old drugstores. I eliminated the hands, and then I just put each one of these corkscrews around like it would be the time. Does it plug in? Yeah, it plugs in, lights up. It's awesome. 
Well, let's put it on the wall. Let's yeah. hang it up. All right. OK, so. All right, put it right there on that screw, boys. All right, now step back before I plug it in. Three, two, one. Ta-da! <laughs> you see him pretty good now, right? That is absolutely great. I love that. That, Rick, is my gift to you. Well, thanks, John. I really, really appreciate it. I mean, I picked out a couple of corkscrews no, for no, the shop. No, 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 no. Corey was there. It was, I got to give Rick some credit where credit's due. You know? I absolutely love it. Thanks a lot, man. I, I, great. You bet. I'm impressed. We can talk about that raise now, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it later.